So now we're on the De La Hiva again, and we're just gonna go to our sweep and to our back positioning. So bringing them in, getting them over my head, and look, I'm gonna pull myself so I can get those far side pants there, and then I bring myself back. And I'm into my back positioning that I want already. Once I'm here again, I'm coming in and I'm looking to feed that lapel. This time I'll feed the lapel, control the wrist. From here, I wanna go to the bow and arrow, it's my favorite choke. So I'm gonna take my foot out, put my hook in. Get up onto my forearm again, and now the way I transition is I almost like step on this. Like step, and then watch, I'm gonna drop inside. So I drop inside, okay? When I drop inside, I bring my foot underneath. If I drop underneath right away, it's even better, but it's very difficult, so I'll step and I'll drop, make sure I have him stuck, and then I'll just work my foot underneath. Start to come up, and I come right to here. Now from here, I'm letting go. I'm securing the pants. I like to secure right here. And I'm just gonna rock back. I'm gonna catch. I like to catch over the shoulder, but I wanna catch his arm if I can. And then I'm just gonna pull like a ball and arrow. So my pull is here, like this. Make sure your foot, when you come up, you see my foot is tucked under here. So when I rock back, it's an easy, if I'm here and I try to rock back, it's gonna be a difficult bend in my knee. Here, like it, using this as a pillow for his head. And I can rock back. So pay attention when I do it this time, the positioning of my leg. A lot of people will get there and then they try to rock back and they say it feels uncomfortable. It's because their leg is bent the wrong way. It's not underneath the head. So the daily heel is sweep. Lift his hips up. Here, come under to secure. Hook, bring him back around. Okay. I'm gonna immediately start to shoot and get the collar. Control that wrist. Now, I'm going to step and drop. I could drop here, but a lot of times when I drop here, he ends up getting my foot pushed through. Okay, he's gonna to start to manipulate my foot. So I like to drop my foot on the outside because a lot of times they'll just move their hip over your foot anyways, okay? And if not, it's just I just start to make that motion. But here's that knee position. See, I put my knees a pillow. So it's like here rather than here. This is gonna be hard for me to sit back because I'm gonna put my knee at an awkward stretching angle. So my knee is here and my foot. My foot is gonna be perpendicular with his body. Okay? So I'm almost like in that triple threat position is a pillow. But see how my foot is here? A lot of people are here and then they can't get rocked back or they get stuck in this pivoting point. It should be right here, that's super key detail to this. Now, once you're here, you should be good to go. Get the pant legs. As I pull, I clear room for my leg over his arm, trap it, pull like a bow and arrow. 